We talk about peace, but sometimes we don't even stop and wonder, where did this idea of peace start from? I mean, why peace? Why do human beings across the face of this earth even want peace? What is it that motivates us? Because there are implications here. If peace is a luxury, something we concocted, one day somebody sat down and said, you know what, it would be really nice to have peace. Versus that it's an innate and a fundamental desire, a need, a necessity that gets acknowledged in a human being. Something from within inside stirs and says without peace the whole equation is incomplete. Something from inside says yes, all this is wonderful, but unless there is peace, it's not enough. That through the cultures, through the civilizations, peace has been something that has always been acknowledged. Now, people try to figure out, well, what can we do to have peace? But if we understand that it is a fundamental desire, just as it is to take a breath, And that's the importance I'm giving peace. Just as important as to breathe. Just as important as to be able to see. Just as important to be able to exist. That something within inside of each human being stirs every single day. And says, let me feel, let me experience. That state in which I am not burdened with conflict. That it is important for me to feel that simplicity in my life, in my existence. And we forget. We forget that these things are very fundamentally important to us. We forget what the primary purpose is. A little turbulence hits and all of a sudden it's like, I'm out of here. Where are you going? Where are you going? What is the fundamental need, the fundamental requirement of your existence? What is the most important thing to you? Not as your credentials go, but as a human being. To welcome that. Not to find it mysterious, because it is not mysterious. Not to find it curious because it is not curious. Not to find it routine because it is not routine. But to acknowledge that this life that I have is an exquisite gift. And that I, in my life, need to make the most most of it. An empty jug, an empty pitcher, an empty well cannot fill other vessels. A dry well, you can throw 10,000 buckets in it. All that will come out is sand. That's if you're lucky. For a lamp to light other lamps, that lamp has to be lit. For a candle to light other candles, that candle has to be lit. Has to be lit. And for us to achieve the incredible objectives, and they are noble. Peace is always noble. To help mankind is noble, is good, is beautiful, and it will always be. But it has to begin 
with a lit lamp. Peace has to be first and foremost recognized in a person's own self. 